And in a significant development from North Korea, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has ordered the mass production of suicide drones. Why is North Korea ramping up the production of suicide drones? As per the North Korean state media, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has reportedly ordered the mass production of these explosive unmanned aerial systems following a test of their capabilities. Kim Jong-un personally oversaw tests of drones designed to target both land and sea objectives produced by the unmanned aerial technology complex. According to the Korean Central News Agency, Kim Jong-un emphasized the urgency of establishing a serial production system to enable large-scale manufacturing. But what is driving this push? And what exactly are these suicide drones? Often referred to as loitering munitions, they are unmanned aircraft loaded with explosives designed to crash deliberately into enemy targets. This effectively transforms them into low-cost guided missiles. First unveiled by Pyongyang in August, these drones have drawn attention from global experts, many of whom link their development to North Korea's growing ties with Russia. Could this technology be imported? The drones bear striking similarities to the Israeli-made Harop, the Russian Lancet 3, and Israel's Hero 30. Experts speculate that North Korea may have gained access to these designs indirectly via Russia and Iran. The test conducted on Thursday reportedly saw these drones hit their targets with precision, flying along preset paths. KCNA further highlighted their role as a cost-effective striking power tool that can operate over varied regions, serving as a critical component in North Korea's military arsenal. How might this fit into Pyongyang's broader strategy? Kim Jong-un has placed increasing importance on developing unmanned hardware systems and integrating them into North Korea's military operations. This focus aligns with the nation's ongoing tensions with South Korea, now officially labelled a hostile state by North Korea. Let's talk about where things stand in the Korean Peninsula. In 2022, Pyongyang flew drones into South Korean territory, evading detection due to their small size. This prompted Seoul to launch a drone operations command last year to counter such threats. Yet tensions remain high, with Pyongyang accusing Seoul of flying drones over its territory earlier this year, a claim that South Korea denies. This escalation occurs against the backdrop of North Korea's continued ballistic missile tests and growing military cooperation with Russia, further isolating Pyongyang while fueling fears of heightened regional instability. So what does this mean for the Korean Peninsula and for the world? Only time will tell. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.